Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use Arduino Unity plugin. Please don't forget to read the helpme.txt file, it has many useful information. First, we start by creating the Bluetooth Manager class. Here we imported the Bluetooth library by writing using Arduino Bluetooth API. Second, we create a variable to our Bluetooth helper. Bluetooth helper is the class that will control the communication between our device and the Arduino Bluetooth module. Now let the coding begin. We declare a string device name, we assign it in the start function to the name of the Bluetooth module, it's usually HC05 or HC06. In a try catch block, call the static method, get instance with device name as argument. After the initialization, we should implement some event listeners. Unconnected is the first listener we are going to implement, it is invoked once we connect successfully to our device. Second, on connection failed, is a listener called when trying to connect to the Bluetooth module fails, this could be used for many things like ability to reconnect again or displaying some messages to the player etc. Now, if you want to receive your message asynchronously, you have to implement this event, on data received. You can skip implementing this method and call red method in the update function. Now after assigning the event, we need to define the way we are going to communicate with our Arduino. There's two mode, a character terminator mode, this mode is useful when we are going to read the received data line by line for example, and there's a length based mode, where we send the number of bytes to read at the start of the frame. This mode is useful when transferring binary data. Now let's start with the character terminator mode. We start by calling Bluetooth helper dot set terminator based stream and give it the backslash n string as a deli miter. We could go with any string but thing is the most intuitive and easy one, because we can simply call serial dot print line on the Arduino. After setting the communication mode, it's time to connect. We start by checking if the user had already paired the Arduino by calling, is device found. After that we call the function connect. In the manager.cs file found in the plugin, I have called the connect method when the user clicks on the connect GUI button. You can check it in the on GUI function. The connecting process runs in the background and once finished, the unconnected event is raised. Then we can call Bluetooth helper dot start listening method. Now we are able to receive some data. To send some data to the Arduino, call the send data method. This function can either take a string or a byte array as argument. With terminator character mode, and length based mode, you don't have to include the terminator character or the length of the data respectively as they are automatically added by the plugin. Now in the update method, to synchronously check is a message is available, call available property to check if there's any message in the queue. If yes, then call the read function. It will return the received string. By the way, don't forget to implement the on destroy function by Unity, and in its body, call Bluetooth helper dot stop listening to close the connection, and by so you will be able to connect again. A little tip, if you are a beginner, I suggest you use terminator character mode, because it is easy to use. If you have a good C++ and C# -sharp knowledge, and you are an intermediate to advanced developer, you can go with length based mode, as it can provide more sophisticated scenarios, and it is explained in the manager.cs file. Now let's talk about the exceptions you might encounter in the try catch block in the start function. First, Bluetooth not enabled exception. This exception is caused by Bluetooth being turned off. Second, Bluetooth not ready exception. This exception is caused by Bluetooth device being not paired. Third, Bluetooth not supported exception. This exception is caused by devices that don't support Bluetooth. Fourth, Bluetooth permission not granted exception. This exception is caused by you, not moving the plugin folder to the asset folder. Now let's take a look at the two Arduino sketches provided with the plugin. I will start by the Arduino character terminator example. As you can see in this example, to send data to your Android, you simply call serial.print or serial.writefuntions. 
Don't forget to use serial.flush after these two functions. Serial.flush doesn't not clear the output stream as many of you may think, it will indeed block the code from being executed until what's in the buffer is being sent. This is very important to call it in a loop, otherwise you will receive junk data because data will be overwritten. And because I was using backslash n as a terminator character in my Unity code, I can simply delimit my strings with print ln or print backslash n. Now let's jump tp the length based mode Arduino skek. As you can notice, I provided a function called send bt that will help sending the preamble and the length of a given data. You can also see how I managed to get the data from the Unity app. Thank you for watching this video. Support me and get the plugin from Unity Asset Store. Bye bye. This audio file was created by Panopreter Basic. You can download it at www.panopreter.com.